Hello and welcome to this video covering the visceral afferent nerves from the pelvis. We are going to be taking a look at the mechanisms of referred pain coming from pelvic viscera. To do that, we're going to be studying this diagram, which is a sagittal view through the female pelvis. And before we get started talking about the afferent nerve flow from some of the key viscera in this region, let's start off by labeling some of the key structures and orientating ourselves to this particular view. We will also take a look at some of the spaces, the anatomical spaces that we can see here as well. So first of all, most anteriorly, we have the pubic symphysis, a key landmark of the region. As we move inferiorly and posteriorly through the perineum, we can see the opening of the urethra. And that, of course, is continuous with the bladder more superiorly. As we move more posterior, we can see the opening of the vagina and the continuation of the muscular tube, which is the vagina. As we pass the perineal body, sitting in between the perineal body and the anal coccygeal ligament is the anal canal and continuous with the anal canal is of course the rectum. We can now move on and talk about some of the key developmental structures here, the reproductive structures, the uterus. We have got the uterine tube of course and we also have the ovaries as well. So last but not least, we must not forget to mention and label the cervix, which we can see here at the end of the muscular tube, the vagina, we can see the cervix there as well. So before we move on and talk about the afferent nerve flow, let's just quickly mention some of the key recesses here. There's actually two, one of which is clinically important, and that's the one we are going to start with. So the posterior recess here is the recto uterine pouch often referred to as the pouch of douglas it's a deep recess that sits between the uterus and the rectum that is clinically important the less clinically important recess here is the vesico uterine pouch now this pouch sits between the bladder and the uterus so now we can move on and talk about the visceral afferent flow from the pelvic structures and we're going to draw on this blue dotted line which represents the pelvic pain line. Now this is a term which is considered obsolete by some but it's still a concept that is taught by many medical schools. It refers to the fact that some of these important pelvic viscera have a partial covering of peritoneum and this is important for the way in which pain is felt at the level of the spinal cord. So here we can draw on in blue shading the structures that have a partial covering of peritoneum. We have the roof of the bladder, the body and the fundus of the uterus and the anterior wall of the rectum. Now any pain felt from these regions, specifically these regions of the viscera, will travel as visceral afferent fibres with the sympathetic nervous system and will be felt in dermatome regions coming from T10 to L2, although many textbooks will tell you that the pain is actually concentrated to dermatome regions T11 to T12. That means that any pain felt in the same viscera below the pelvic pain line, such as the floor of the bladder, such as the cervix, such as the vagina, such as the lower part portion of the rectum and the anal canal, instead of traveling with the sympathetic nervous system, the pain is referred via the parasympathetic nervous system via S2 and S3 and S4. So what does this mean? It means that if any pain travels back via T10 to L2 via the sympathetics, then that's likely to be felt over the anterior thigh, as high up as the belly button, over the tummy, over the suprapubic region. Any pain felt via the parasympathetics, S2, S3, S4, is likely to be felt in the buttocks and in the posterior thigh. So the pelvic pain line is a slightly odd scenario where the pain fibers the afferent pain flow is split between the sympathetics and the parasympathetics depending on whether the structure has a peritoneal covering or not so the pelvic pain line is important for understanding how referred pain is felt 
from visceral structures. So in summary, pain can be felt either from the sympathetic fibers or from the parasympathetic fibers, depending on the exact location of where the pain is coming from. Thanks very much for watching. See you again next time. Subscribe to Soton Brain Hub for more videos to help explain the mysteries of the brain.